41 on the clock in our studios. Okay, look at this stat. 53 out of 792 entries have been selected for this year's National Drawing and Small Sculpture Show over at Del Mar College. Please welcome Dr. Benjamin Ogrodnik joining us live with how you can see the hard work and creativity on display. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, explain the curation process, bringing in somebody to get all these pieces together and kind of what it means uh, for South Texas uh, and the art scene. Yeah, so the national show that is going to uh, be on display tomorrow, uh, we have our opening reception from 6 to 8. Uh, the national show every year is curated by a guest juror who is a nationally recognized artist, and it's somebody new every single time. Um, this year we have a really talented artist who uh, comes to us from Lawrence, Kansas. His name is Mark Cowardin. Uh, this morning he's going to be doing a presentation about his life and art career. Um, and he has to choose around 50 uh, or 55 artworks. This year there was a total uh, applicant pool of around 800 artists who contributed. And the artists come from <clears throat> almost 20 states around the United States. So uh, the South Texas art scene gets uh, a nice taste of new artworks being made all around the country. Is this one of those situations where the artists are really pushing the envelope? They're exposing new mediums, bringing new mediums to light, things that ha we haven't seen before possibly? Yeah, one of the great things about the national show is we encourage the jurors to find artworks that are really doing something different. Um, of course, we have lots of artworks that represent traditional media like uh, painting, uh, sculpture, photography, but many of the artworks on display this year in particular blend different types of creative me media together. So we have a lot of pieces that are works of assemblage, uh, putting together found objects and fabricated objects. We also have many artworks that are 3D printed and using advanced technologies that um, create objects we haven't seen before. So over 792 uh, submissions. For those people that are trying so hard to get their work in there, it seems like it's a real honor if you do get selected. Yes, it's uh, a great honor to be selected because um, many reasons. You have uh, some of the most talented artists in the United States who are participating in this show. We have uh, several artists who uh, seem to get selected every couple years because their work is really outstanding. And uh, to be a emerging or mid-career artist participating in the show is sort of like a feather in your cap as a, a professional working artist. Um, the show began back in the 60s and uh, during that decade, there were many nationally recognized artists that participated as jurors. So there's also a legacy of big names in the art world that support uh, the work that continues in the national show today. Well, thank you so much for spending your time with us this morning, explaining the importance of this coming here to South Texas. We're gonna have the information on our website uh, after the show at ktriplitv.com.